Okay. Continue chapter 15. Mm, personnel scheduling and services. Uh, maybe uh, restaurants, uh, stores need different number of workers because you know, different number of customers uh, day by day. That case, we can use this you know, scheduling consecutive days of method to assign workers. Step one, assign the first worker to all of the days that require stepping. And circle the two consecutive days with the lowest numbers. And step two, worker two, subtract one from each of the days not circled with positive numbers and enter this the worker to row. If a store or restaurant need a different number of workers on Monday 4, Tuesday 3, Wednesday 4, Thursday 2, 3, 1, 2, then again assign the first worker to all of the days that require stepping. That means just copy uh, required number on uh, for the uh, worker one, and then circle the two consecutive days with the lowest numbers. If I circle here two consecutive numbers, four plus three is seven. And here, circle uh, is two numbers, 3 plus 4, 7, 4, 2, 6, 2, 3, 5, 3, 1, 4, 1, 2, 3. So among those combinations, two consecutive numbers, this one, 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3 is smallest number, so circle there. That means assign worker 1 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, not on uh, Saturday and Sunday. So worker 1 uh, assigned Monday through Friday, so subtract 1. From here, 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 not here, not here, because uh, worker 1 is not assigned. So remain the same number, but others, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, remain the same number. And same step, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. There are three ties. 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. In that case, ask worker 2 uh, what day uh, you don't want to work. Then uh, worker 2, if worker 2 says, uh, I don't want to uh, work on a Friday and Saturday, so circle there. Then again, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. Okay. 2, 1, 2, 0, and so on. 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2. So here again, 3 ties. Here, here, and here. Ask again, work at 3, then uh, work at 3, I don't want to work Saturday and Sunday. So, uh, circle there, then minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. Already uh, satisfied the uh, number of worker required for uh, uh, Thursday, 0, and so on. Minus 1. 
minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, remain the same. And then again, 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. There are four ties and ask the work of four. Then uh, circle there and again. So work of one uh, assigned Monday through Friday, work two Monday through Thursday and send a Sunday. Work three work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not uh, Thursday, on Friday and so on. So assign like this. So one, two, three, four, four required. Uh, work uh, work of one, two, three, four, work on Monday and Tuesday, three, one, two, three, work of one, two, three, work on uh, Tuesday and so on. Next one, scheduling a set number of jobs on the same number of machines. So same number, uh, N to N. Using assignment method, we can assign uh, the same number of uh, jobs to uh, machine. This assignment uh, method is uh, one of uh, linear programming. We will talk about uh, linear programming uh, uh, later. And assignment method is similar to uh, transportation method. Transportation method the same number of uh, like uh, destination and suppliers and then match uh, one to one to minimize uh, transportation cost or time. There are n things to be uh, distributed to n destinations, same number. Uh, jobs and machines or uh, workers and so on. Each thing must be assigned to one and only one destination. So match one by one, one to one. And uh, only one uh, criterion can be used because linear programming is uh, one uh, single objective method so using only one uh, objective or criterion such as minimum cost maximize uh, maximum uh, profit or minimum minimize the uh, completion time okay example there are five machines and five jobs. Match one to one. Okay, first step. Uh, by the way, uh, this um, assignment method is relative, relatively uh, difficult. So listen carefully and follow uh, steps. First step. Subtract the smallest number in each row. Row is horizontal from itself and all other numbers in that row. Okay, first row. Smallest is now this one. So subtract smallest from the numbers uh, in the same row. So 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, 8 minus 3 is 5, 3 minus 3 is 0. So change like this. Second row, smallest is 4. So subtract the smallest from itself and from other number in the same row. So 6 minus 4 is 2, 0, 5. 4, 1, and other rows, smallest, 2, 2, and 3, then subtract 
and change like this. Okay, first we uh, subtract smallest number uh, from a wall. And next step is subtract the smallest number in each column from itself and all other numbers in the column. First column, smallest is 0, it doesn't matter. 0 doesn't matter, 0 doesn't matter, but on uh, fourth column, B column, smallest is 2, and this one, 0 doesn't matter, so subtract. Smallest number on the column, then change like this. 5 minus 2 is 3, 2, 1, 1, 0. And next step, determine if the minimum number of lines required to cover each 0 is required. Uh, equal to n. If so, then means the number of lines uh, is the same number. Uh, this case, this uh, example, there are 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if the number of, minimum number of lines to cover 0 or 0, is four or uh, five, then uh, we can uh, find the optimal solution. But the uh, minimum number is line is not uh, five less than five. Then we need another step. Okay, try copper or zero. This um, keep in mind. If there are two or more zeros on the column or row, then cover that column or row uh, by line first. So on this column, there are two cover two zeros by one line. And then here there are two so cover using horizontal line and then here and here there are two zeros uh, remain it's, it doesn't matter the, if you use a horizontal line to cover this one or vertical line to cover this uh, zero or this one using a vertical line or horizontal line, it doesn't matter. Anyway, use whatever horizontal or a vertical cover remain zero here and here. Okay, I used four lines, one, two, three, four. The minimum number of lines required to cover or zero is four but n is five less than n so we need another step step four step four subtract subtract the smallest number not covered by lines okay those numbers 2, 2, 5, 1, 5, 3, 2, 2, 1. They are not covered by lines. Among them, smallest is this one or this one. So subtract smallest number from numbers not covered by line. Don't touch numbers covered line. So 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 2 min uh, 5 minus 1, 1 minus 1, and so on, then change like this. After that, after change, try again, cover or zero using line. Say again, keep in mind, 
if there are two or more zeros on column or row, cover that column or row first. So cover here, there are two, and cover here, there are two, and cover here, there are two. And then remain zeros here and here, whatever line using vertical or horizontal line, cover. I will use horizontal line. The number of lines, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the same. The number of lines to cover all zero is five and n is five. So now we can get optimal solution. Okay, zeros from uh, this table, zero here, zero here, 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 and so on. Then I will show you how to assign each okay. job one has zero on C and E, so one C and E and two has only on B three C four B and D five a and D okay, change color. Okay. Assignment method match one to one. So when you assign if there is only one available, then assign uh, they uh, first, assign them uh, first. So here C is only one available for uh, job three. Then this one is not available. Now this become only one, so assign E. Then how about here? Only B is available for uh, job two. Then this one is not available. And this one become only one. Assign and not available, assign. So, assign A to E, assign B uh, two to B, three to C, four to D, five to A, and then from uh, the original table, the original table, find cost so if job one is assigned to machine e then three dollars cost to two b two dollars three to c two dollars four to d five dollars five to a three dollars So total cost will be $3 plus $4 to $3 plus 
two dollars, five dollars, three dollars, seventeen dollar is total cost. Okay, um, you have um, practice problem on the screen. Okay. Let's do it uh, together. Uh, first step on uh, raw small list, this one. So minus three, and this one minus three, and this one smallest is minus two. 5 minus 5. So change like this. 7 minus 3 is 4. 9 minus 3 is 6. 3 minus 3 is 0. 5 minus 3 is 2. And next. Well, 3 minus 3 is 0, 11 minus 3 is 8, 7 minus 3 is 4, 6 minus 3 is 3, and next row, 4 minus 2, 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 2 is 0. And next row, 5 minus 5 is 0, 9 minus 5 is 4, 10 minus 5 is 5, 12 minus 5 is 7. And next step, column 0, three minus 3, minus and 0. And here is it right? Oh, this is zero. But zero doesn't matter. So this column the same. This column change uh, three minus six. Six is three five zero. One and there's two columns the same. Okay, now uh, use line to cover zero. This moment. Use Line. Okay, there are two zero here, so cover this first. And there are two here and here, so cover this row. Say again, if there are two or more zero on column or on uh, row, cover uh, that row or column. First, and then this one remain. It doesn't matter using um, vertical or horizontal. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's use vertical. Okay, now small list among uh, numbers not covered by line three, five, one, two, three, seven. One is a small list. So subtract one. This column is the same. And this column 
3 minus 1 is 2, 5 minus 1 is 4, and 0. Don't touch the uh, number covered by line, the same, you mean the same, and then uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, and this column all are uh, covered by line, so the same. And 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, and 0, 7 minus 1 is 6. Okay, now try again to cover or 0. Why well, it doesn't change? G, okay. Okay. So there are two zero here, cover, there are two zero here, cover, and supposed to be the two zero here, cover, and then remain this one. It doesn't matter, uh, horizontal or vertical. Okay, the number of line, one, two, three, four, and uh, n is 4, just the same, so we can get uh, optimal solution, so 0 here, 0 here, and 0 here, and here, 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 yes. so why it doesn't only um, something wrong something wrong okay something wrong okay Review again, uh, 4, 6, 0, yeah, here it's 0. It's supposed to be uh, 0 here. This one was 0, so it was 0. G. And cover, 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 yeah. So, Zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here, and here, here, and here. Okay, so uh, A, ah, tick. A available three B available one and three C available two and four D Available one and two. So if we assign three here, then not available one, not available two, not available and four. So, hmm. If we assign A to 3, then $3 here, 1, $3, 4, 
and two nine dollars. So total cost will be three dollars, three dollars, two dollars, and nine dollars. The total will be uh, fifteen seventeen dollars. Check the answer. Okay, go to oops. Answer. Wow, just a moment. Answer. Yes, seventeen dollar. Three, one, four, two. Thirty dollars, three dollars, two dollars, nine dollars, seventeen dollars. Okay, uh, that's all. But you have assignment. You have assignment four. And then here, uh, more practice problem for assignment four, uh, especially uh, the assignment method practice problem. So, uh, if we're doing the assignment four, uh, review this in practice problem, then it will help you. Okay. That's all and uh, see you next Monday. Bye-bye.